Welcome to Red Carpet TV Nigeria. If this is your first time, kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video. For coverage of events, you can call any of the numbers in the description box. Thank you and enjoy our videos. The hospitable embrace of Idori Hills and the delectable vista of the historic town often leave visitors in the days. With a deep valley and a steep barricade of voluminous hills, Idori is a town like no other. Friday, February 10, 2012. This inimitable land of nature hosted an outstanding funeral banquet with attendant outstanding features and merry dances, mercurial displays and mesmeric music in an atmosphere of vibe and diversity. With a surfeit of grace and glamour, carnival of conviviality, melodies and rhapsodies, Idari witnessed a funeral like no other. And indeed, the funeral ceremonies of Mrs. Dorcas Oluwawemimo Oluwulabi was a classic celebration of a mother like no other. Passed on on Tuesday, November 15, 2011. The rites of passage started in the early hours of Thursday, February 9, 2012, as family and friends staged a gregarious procession from the General Hospital Eden. Takers and trumpeters in high spirits, the procession danced through Broad Street to Ojai Dale Junction before retiring to the Oluwolabi's family house on Domban 265 Ukejebu Street.
remnants of merry-go-round in Ukejebu. The gleaming casket bearing Mama's remains was placed in a decorated canopy amidst pump and pageantry. <laughs> The line in state was an emotional moment of mourning and appreciation. Torrents of praises flowed even in the trios of grief. In diverse tongues and several songs, community folks extolled the virtues of a mother like no other. Dorcas, Oluwa Wemimu, Olu Labi. In the twilight of the lively Thursday, clergymen and choristers from St. Paul's Anglican Church in Dori presided over a charismatic service of psalms. A service of psalms and incisive sermon. Venerable Solomon Amure, in his flowing black castle, encouraged Mama's children, all clad in white dresses, to emulate the selfless life of their departed mother. No one is useless or not. Every individual has a purpose to fulfill or not. Whatever may be your position is. Challenging. The well-attended service of songs paraded high-profile guests and accomplished indigents of Idori Kingdom. Some of them include Dr. Olusha Gumimiku, Governor of Undo State, Honorable Niro Sule Akinshuye, Undo State Commissioner for Special Duties, Honorable Taye Akiyele, Commissioner for Employment, Labor and Productivity, Mr. Kayode Akimadi, Commissioner for Information, Colonel Roland Omoa, Ambassador Designate, and Prince Dayo Adeyeye, former chairman of Super in Ikiti State. Others include Chief Olu Akiyelure, top socialite and businessman, Chief Babu Akimbobola, chairman of Media League, outdoor advertising, Chief B. Akinsheye, president of Club 66 of Idori, and Chief Eric Teniola, former deputy director of press at the presidency. Some of the guests, led by Governor Mimiko, however, went inside the family house to commiserate with Mama's widower, Pa Lawrence Ulubulabi. At the dawn of Friday, February 10, the bell tolled for Mama. Our remains were lifted by colorful pallbearers who also put up delightful dress matters as Mama began her final journey. As the extensive motorcade cruised towards the church, neighbors, bystanders and onlookers burst and waved their hands in utter amazement. Mama was conveyed in slick haze a 2011 model of Cadillac, which zoomed to the church in style and splendor. At the entrance of the church, the fully automated haze was a spectacle. At the push of a button, the casket came out unassisted. The Ajiboye Paul Bearers pulled out some stunts in the church premises. They were led by a medical doctor, Dr. Babatope Ajiboye. The casket was wheeled into the sanctuary amidst hymns and rhymes of comfort.
Mama's children occupied the front rooms. They commanded all attention with a striking wine and cream anari yashwebi. It was an entertaining service with engaging presentations of melodious choruses. on the pulpit, Venerable Amuri read Mama's biography. Soon, he climbed the divine altar again, this time for a brief but edifying homily. Next was Thanksgiving. It was done with poise and panache. The exciting funeral service was attended by former Governor Agabu and his wife, Uli Funke, Senator Olorunimbe Farukomi, Oloye Lekong Alabi, Honorable Nii Jones Akiyiwa, Chief Babu Akimbobola, Chief B. Akinshaye, Chief Eric Tenyola, Mr. Folu Olamiti, veteran journalist and former editor of Nigerian Tribune, Mr. Femi Agabu, former chief of staff to the state governor, Dr. Pius Osuikam, special advisor to the president on international relations. They had all come to honor one of Mamat's children, Yemi Olowolabi, chief executive officer of Red Carpet Communications. The service due to close, and Mama's rebates were committed to Mother Her at the church cemetery. And the celebration continued at the early field Idori, where Queen Ayobalogu was on the bandstand, captivating mix of pink, purple, and gold held sway under the expansive marquee, to which elegant and gorgeous guests arrived in droves. <laughs> The funeral banquet sparkled with flamboyance and trendy styles. From the flair of jurists to the fair of Edgars, Idori witnessed an uncommon showcase of high flying passion. <laughs> As the beat went on, almost everybody danced to the irresistible sounds of Ayo Balogu. <laughs> Ajaba, 
Talk of great meals and chilled drinks, the supply was limitless. Top guests at the reception include Irelu B.C. Fayemi, wife of the governor of Ikiti State, Mrs. Fumilayo Olaiyinka, deputy governor of Ikiti State, Otubaniyi Adebayo, former governor of Ikiti State, Princess Oladu Niudu, former chairperson of Super, Ajos Ekudenbu, head of service of Ondo State, and other distinguished Nigerians. Mama Oluwolabi was a real chair who gave her all to train her children. Though she died at 75, all her six children were fully and firmly established before she gave up the ghost. Her first son, Shegu Oluwolabi, a lawyer and university lecturer, teaches at the Adepuni Ajashi University at Kubakuku. <laughs> It's a virtuous woman, like no other woman. She will be remembered for her passion for education and the care of the children. She loves her children. Even despite the mega resources, she was able to train us. She was able to give us the best of education. She has set a record that is difficult to be broken. In fact, I, I'm proud of her. If I have to come to this world again, she will still be my mother. Because she's a mother that will never, that will forever be remembered. Her first daughter, Mrs. Dronke Ademujimi, a graduate of social studies, teaches at Bishop Phillips Academy in Bado. <laughs> Even more than herself. My mother was so kind to her faults. So I will that those are the legacy she left behind for me. And I'll be following her footsteps. I'm a replica of my own mother. <laughs> Yeah. 
Next is Remy Olowolabi, a legal space lawyer and principal partner of Remy Olowolabi & Co. He is followed by Mrs. Folashade Akinayajo, a Porter Court based proprietress of a private school. Mama's fifth child, Yemi Olowolabi, former Chief Press Secretary to the Governor of Ndu State, is a journalist of note and Chief Executive Officer of Red Carpet Communications Limited. While the baby of the house, Bola Ululabi, is also a lawyer who piles his train as a lead counsel of Bola Ululabi and Co. in Abuja. <laughs> Very caring, loving. She trained all of us, and we are proud of her. The children and some of their guests spoke to Red Carpet TV. <laughs> and she's very dynamic so she left all these virtues for her children to emulate and me as a daughter-in-law she had she did not see me as a daughter-in-law <laughs> Oh, he's that my love. 
Unfortunately, I didn't really know his brother while he was alive. But Yemi is somebody that has always been very, very close to me. He's a very reliable and loyal person. And uh, even though I had a very tight uh, schedule today, I, I was determined to be here because he deserves to be honest. Yemi, one of the most uh, outstanding Nigerian journalists, uh, he has done honor to his mother. And there would not have been any Yemi Olo Labi without the mother. So I think the mother, having a son like Yemi, shows what the care and the love that he showed when she was alive. And that she has now been bestowed with this kind of honor. It's a, it's a worthy example to others. So those of us who, are, who still have our mothers around, <laughs> who know what to. <laughs> The kind of responsibility that we will have in a day like this, I think uh, Mama will be very proud. is a very brilliant, hard-working lawyer and dedicated individual. Any person would like him. And as far as the mother is concerned, we were told yesterday that the mother is very lovely, amiable, kind, and willing to share with others what she had. So we are happy to remember his exit from this world. Celebrating a life well spent and uh, rejoicing with these wonderful children of ours who through little hands she has been able to make big men and women out of them. I'm very, very happy for them. Our children, Mama's life is a living example of what hard work can lead you to do. There is no short course, no royal road to success. It's hard work, hard work. I'm not surprised at the crowd here today. I can say without any out of doubt that God blessed Mama with good and godly children. And Yemi happens to be one of them. And because Yemi has conducted his affairs with the fear of God and with all the best practices you can imagine of what you will call Omoluabi in Yoruba land. That is a child well brought up and who have stayed along the path of good breeding. Yemi today is reaping the fruits of his mother's labor over him by the gathering you are seeing today. There is a Yoruba adage that says that the taste of the food is in the eating. Today, you can see for yourself. Those of us that are privileged to witness today, you will see that the late mother of Yemelo Wabi is a true mother. And Yemelo Wabi is a true son of that mother. He has demonstrated this, the way he celebrates the death of his mother. And the caliber of the people that witness this event is great. It's a thing that is going to linger on in the Ghana community. <laughs>
her very well. The time she spent in my, my house in Lagos, I, and I noticed that she had a very benevolent spirit and a very wonderful spirit. My grandma was a woman of excellence. She was able to train all her children in a good way. She strived hard in life to train all her children. That shows that she's a woman of excellence. She's a mother like no other. That she told me that we should bury her in, in, in grand style. And that is what we have done today. The woman who pursued education with so much zest and vitality. My brother, we will miss her. We will miss her. We will miss her. Thank you for watching Red Carpet TV Nigeria. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel.